Hi, I'm Colin and welcome to How to Paint Watercolours. So if you're ready, we'll get started and we'll paint this one. Hello YouTubers and welcome back to my channel How to Paint Watercolours with me Colin. I'm just going to take some cobalt blue and burnt sienna for the sky in this one. I'm just brushing it inwards. A fall scene or autumn if you're in England. Some Naples yellow. I've tried off one or two areas after stretching my paper around the house so that I can keep it clean around the top of the bridge. Brush that into the sky. I have got the board laying flat at the moment. I do like to juggle it between flat and I mean, at an angle. I think what you want the paint to do. This is a stronger version, cobalt blue, burnt sienna or burnt umber, whichever one you prefer to use. Then I'm just going to roll it round a minute or two, just to manipulate the colour. some lovely granulation on that. Then I'm just going to take some cobalt blue burnt sienna once again. Across the hills here we'll just bring in a couple of clouds. This is mixed to the brown side. Naples yellow into the, uh, the land area, followed with some yellow ochre. And then we're going to let that dry. I've just rewet the background hills with some clean water. I'm taking some of the cobalt blue and burnt sienna or burnt umber depending on what you've got. This is the brownie one. I'm just going to drop this along the hilltop, allowing it to drift down. And I just want to drop some of the cobalt blue with the sky colour in. Drop some of some crimson in, hardly noticeable, down to the other side. Just a little bit stronger, pulling it a little bit closer. Maybe just drop a little yellow ochre in. And I'm going to let that dry. Just run a little water under the, well on the bridge and the house, just on this cable end, taking some of your sky colour cobalt blue, burnt sienna, and just drop this in. So I'm going to take some Indian red as well, just work that in. Dropping some colour into the bridge. Giving it a kind of random pattern. Yellow ochre. Indian 
red. This is mainly French ultramarine and burnt umber. To leave some of the capping stone top white. Just a touch of cadmium yellow light with some raw umber. This will give a bit of green when it touches any blue that you've dropped in. Just a little water on this embankment here. Just a little touch of Indian red. Indian Red and French Ultramarine. Just softening that in. Just a touch of the cadmium yellow and raw umber. Same on this side a little bit. Softening it out. Just adding hints of brickwork in even though with the the painting is still wet just to give it a fuzzy edge and I'm just using the French Ultramarine and Indian Red for this. Softening it in. Put a little bit into the house. Take some French Ultramarine and Burnt Umber. Just little drops of colour here and there, just helps to bring it all out. And I'm just going to let that dry. I just want to take a little of the blue grey, the cobalt blue, burnt sienna, water it down a bit, just add it to the roof, just with a touch of cobalt blue, burnt sienna, and I just want to add in some of the yellow into that, cadmium yellow light and raw umber. I'm just going to work that in into the blue, just create a tiny bit of green, making there's some moss growing on the roof. Then salt green and burnt umber. Just pushing a little brickwork in. Seems a rig of brushing some French salt green and burnt umber. Ultramarine and burnt umber just to darken this underside of the bridge and just undulate the, the brush just to give a broken line effect. It's time for some trees, I think. I'm going to take some Indian red and Elysium crimson with a stipple brush or a, basically it's just a, an oil painting brush that I've broken open. And some lovely autumn colours now. It's kind of like the mid-range bit. The secret to getting this right is to let each individual bit dry before you add the next bit. I do want some chimney pots in there. I'm 
just going to leave that to dry. Taking some of the raw umber and cadmium yellow light. Just add some on the top of this. Raw umber and the cad yellow light mixed together have a, a sort of a green, a very pale green colour look to them. Mix in a few colours together to create a dark. A damp brush and just catch the bottom and pull some of the colour in down the embankment. Taking some French Rosemarine and Burnt Umber and just putting some branches into these trees. To put some in the bushes as well. Take a damp brush and just pour this down the embankment. Just helps to soften everything in. Tiles, just an indication. A little bit of clean water under the, the eave. Just need a shadow. Soften that in, and then we want to leave that to dry. I'm just going to take some clean water and re-wet the river area nice and quick and as you know by now with water it's basically all the colours of the sky Naples yellow, cobalt blue, burnt sienna darken that a little bit, possibly too much Blue, burnt sienna. French ultramarine, burnt umber, or French ultramarine and burnt sienna. Just adding some of the bridge colours in. Deeply one or two areas with the French Ultramarine and Burnt Umber. And I'm just going to take out a little sun streak, maybe. Using a kitchen towel. And I just want to put some one of one or two grasses in the uh, foreground area, but not many. Just using the Indian Red and French Ultramarine for this. Can I just shove a little couple of birds in? And then we just have to wait for this to dry before we can finish it off.